Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the Thunderbolt tier. Okay, let's make a simple loading screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a screen GUI to start a GUI and I'm going to rename it to loading screen GUI. And I'm going to add a frame or a canvas group, sorry. And I'm going to set its size to 1, 0, 1, 0. Then we will select our loading screen GUI and we will set ignore GUI inset to true. And then I'm going to add a text label to the canvas group and I'm going to change the size to 0 0.1, comma 0, comma 0 0.1, comma 0. Now what that does is going to convert it to scale instead of offset because by default it's offset. So now if you just resize it however you want from here, it's always going to be scale, not offset. So I'm just going to make it this big and I'm going to change the text, the text to loading and three dots loading and three dots then i'm going to check that scaled and i'm going to change the font to for doka one then what we're, what we're going to do is make this a bit smaller something like that is good and i'm going to center it right in here then i'm going to rename it to loading and we're going to set its anchor point uh to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and quick tip you can just type in 0 0.5 and press enter and it's going to change it to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 Okay, let's just center it now, and uh, then we're going to duplicate it, and the duplicate is going to be called um, percentage, percentage. Now I need to change this to loading because I made a typo, and now we're just going to add a frame to this. So the frame is going to be called uh, loading bar background. And I'm just going to set the size to 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 and then we're going to set the anchor point to 0 0.5 and then I'm going to change the uh, size by just selecting it and I'm going to uh, make it around this big and then I'm going to just center it uh, on the Y and X axis by just setting the, the position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 and then I'm going to add a UI stroke to this and I'm going to change the uh, thickness to 3. Now I'm going to add in a UI corner to make this look a little nicer and I'm going to change the corner radius on offset to 0 and on scale to um, 3 and if you can't uh, uh, 0 0.3 and also put the UI corner in the loading bar, not the UI stroke. And if you can't see this, you can just click this little arrow in here, or you can just type it in uh, here directly. Then what we can do is duplicate this, and we will put the duplicate inside of the loading bar background itself. Then we're going to set the anchor point of this to 0, just type in 0 and press enter, and it's going to put it to 0, 0. And then we're going to change the size. So the size is going to be uh, 1 on the no, uh, 0 0.3 on the x, uh, comma 0 on the offset, and uh, 1 on the y, comma 0 on the offset. Now we will center it by just setting its position. By the way, position is relative, so this time the position is going to be 0, comma 0, comma 0, comma 0, and that positions it there. Now we can change the background to a darker color. And I'm just going to get rid of the stroke that is inside of the loading bar. I don't know. It looks better. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it. Okay, so now I'm just going to change this color because I don't like it that much. I'm going to make it a little lighter. Oh, maybe we can just keep it like that. Now we will change the name of this one to loading bar. So that was the background, but this is the actual loading bar. And now we can just change the text of the percentage to uh, say something like 58%. And I'm just going to resize it to make it smaller. And I'm going to put it, uh, I'm going to, first of all, make sure that this is centered. Uh, it is. So now I can just move this here and this there. And we can select both of them and just center them like that. Okay, so I think this looks good enough to be used. So I'm just going to create a local script inside of replicated first. So add a local script and then rename it to 
uh, uh, loading screen and then drag your loading screen GUI inside of the loading screen script local script okay so now in here we need a couple services so first of all we're gonna get replicated first equals game come on get service replicated first then we need a twin service so twin service equals game can get service tween service and then we could get players local players equals game can get service players and then we need to get the local player so local player equals players dot local player and then what we need to do is get player gy so local player gy equals uh player can wait for child player gy and then what we're gonna do is local loading uh screen gy or just loading screen equals script call with child loading screen gy uh loading screen gy call and clone okay and then what we need to do is get the uh canvas group so local canvas group canvas group equals uh loading screen oh i made a typo loading screen uh loading screen call with for child uh canvas group then what we need to do is get the uh loading bar background loading bar background equals canvas group can wait for child and loading bar background now local loading bar is going to be loading bar background can wait for child loading bar then we need to get the loading text loading text is going to be equal to loading uh screen or canvas group can wait for child loading uh just loading Okay, local uh, percentage percentage text equals uh, can the group canvas group can wait for child percentage. Okay, so now we need a couple of variables in here. So we need the duration, so loading screen duration, and I want that to be something like five. And uh, in here. What we need to do is just type in replicated first colon remove default loading screen. And what's that going to do is it's just going to, be, well, just remove the default loading screen that Roblox gives you. Okay, so then we need local countdown. Local count. Or maybe just counting down equals false. Uh, you'll see why this will be useful. Okay, so let's start off by twinning the loading bar. So... We're gonna wait two seconds. Time to wait two seconds, and uh, tween service colon create uh, bar so loading bar comma tween info tween info dot new uh, loading duration so loading screen duration and em dot easing style dot linear. Then we're gonna do these. We're gonna use these curly brackets and we're gonna set the size to udim two dot from scale and one comma one. Then you just uh, as a comp play okay so this is how the line of code looks so just copy that and okay so the next thing we need to do is to just play the game and see if this works but the this is not going to work yet because we need to do loading screen uh let's do that in here okay loading screen dot parent equals player gy and what we need to do next is, uh, before we do that actually, so loading screen or canvas group dot uh, group transparency uh, equals zero. Now if you play the game, after two seconds, uh, the bar will start to in, uh, but as you can see, it does this weird thing. And the reason why is because we haven't reset the size of the bar. So loading bar, back or loading bar, not background, loading, uh, loading bar dot size equals udim2 dot from scale 0 comma 0 and now if you play the game i think it should work so it's going to take five seconds oh sorry i forgot to do one thing and the y should always be one uh let's see if that's gonna work and yes it does okay so the, uh, it's going to take five seconds and it does tween all the way to the end okay so to make it look less weird, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the uh, UI stroke from the loading bar, not the loading bar background. And if you play the game now, it should not look as weird. As you can see, it doesn't have that. Okay, it does the same thing. Let's just put it back. Uh, UI stroke, okay. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is in here, 
before the task.wait, we're going to add a while loop. So we're going to add a task.spawn function so that our script does not get stuck in a while loop. And then we're going to type in the while loop. So local, uh, so while, uh, let's just add a variable in here, local uh, uh, loading equals false equals true. And while loading, then, uh, I mean do, uh, so while loading do, we're going to do um, if count, so we're going to add a uh, text, a variable in here, so local count is going to be zero, or maybe some, okay, let's set it to, I think, okay, let's just keep it at zero. Okay, so if count is greater than two, then uh, count, not count. Okay, so if count is greater than two, then counting down equals true. And in here, we're gonna do if count is less or equal to zero, then counting down equals false. Okay, so now what we're gonna do in here is uh, uh, loading text. So loading text, loading text, dot text and it's going to be equal to loading dot dot string dot rep i think it stands for repeat and we're going to just put in a dot and uh, how many times that we want this to count is going to be count to repeat not count okay so how many times we want this to repeat is going to be count okay so uh then we need to just do test dot way 0.3 i think is good and before this what we're going to do is uh if counting down then so if counting down then count minus equal one else uh, count uh, plus equal one okay so let's just play the game and see how this looks so it should okay so as you can see it does this uh, nice little dot animation if you want to make it faster just change mess around with this i'm going to keep it at two point maybe 0 0.24 and as you can see that looks pretty nice I like it. Okay, then we need to tween to uh, uh, make the loading percentage work. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a number value to the loading screen, and I'm going to call it um, percentage. And the value is going to be zero. Okay, so then tween service, go and create. And we need a reference in here, local percentage value equals script call it for child percentage okay so we're gonna do percentage value not percentage text percentage value and what we're gonna do is tween info tween info dot new and loading screen duration and enum dot easing style dot linear and curly brackets and value is going to be equal to 100. Come on, play Okay, then we need to get run service. So in here, we're going to do local run service equals game colon get service run service. And down here, what we're going to do is run service. Let's make this a connection, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to do local connection. In here, local connection equals nil. And in here, I'm going to do connection equals run service dot heartbeat colon connect function. And what we're going to do is uh, percentage text dot text equals math dot round. The reason why we are rounding this is because it, this is going to have like, I don't know, something like 20 uh, numbers after the comma. So that's not really going to work. And what we're going to do in here is uh, percentage of value dot value. And then we'll just do dot dot and percentage sign. Okay, let's try that out and see if it works. And it kind of does, but the reason why it does that is because in here, when we are resetting the uh, group transparency and the size, we need to do loading or percentage text dot text equals and uh, just a zero percent set it to zero percent. Okay, uh, now uh, we're gonna do task dot wait. And we're going to do percent to we're going to do uh, loading screen duration plus and we can just add like one second to that. Uh, then we're going to do tween service, colon create. 
uh first of all yeah let's just do twin service call and create and uh canvas group comma twin info twin twin info let's just zoom in dot new and we're gonna type in 0 0.8 comma in dot is install dot linear and curly brackets and group transparency equals one comma play and then we're just going to wait let's just turn this into a variable so we'll call canvas group queen equals this and just get rid of this column play in here and what we're gonna do is canvas group tween column play and uh, canvas group tween dot completed column wait and after that what we're gonna do is we're just going to destroy the loading screen so loading screen colon destroy and before we do that we also need to do a uh, connection colon disconnect and uh then we just need to do loading equals false okay that should work let's play this again and see how it looks so i'll see the loading screen it will start loading and as you can see it works and it reaches 100 percent and it wins it tweens out and i think it should be gone now and yes it is okay so uh what i want to do is remove this task.wait or maybe just remove it and let's see how that looks uh so you see if you don't want this to happen you can just bring back that task.wait uh, but I want it to be a very small amount, so maybe maybe let's just change it to 1.5. As you can see, it works. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!